Hi guys, this is Bella Gemma Nails, and today I'm going to be showing you how to convert these basic metal cuffs into your own masterpieces. So it'll go from this to this. So none of these charms come together. You basically have to think of the overall look that you want and then combine charms. So that's what I did in this particular case, and I decided that I want one of the cuffs to have this design on top. And you can see how cute that looks. And then for the other cuff, I decided to place a mirror on a cuff because number one, it comes in handy. And number two, it's adorable. And I am going with the pearl theme, pearl and gold. And so I thought it looked very nice, especially if you wear them both together with the plain button down shirt. I wear cuffs all the time. I'll wear them with t-shirts, I'll wear them with dress shirts, I'll wear them with any anything really. And it really just jazzes up an outfit. You're going to start by placing the biggest charm wherever it is that you want, but make sure that it's on the center. So you're going to lie this thing flat and you're going to position it however you want it to be, but try not to have it falling to the side. You want it in the middle because it's the focal point of the cuff. Now what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to line up the top of the lipstick with the bottom of the perfume bottle, just like that. And what happens is it creates a space that you can easily insert the floor de lis design right there. And you can see you're creating a puzzle piece basically. And I am also, also going to be attaching the little bag here. You can see how it dangles there. So you're gonna take a jump ring. I have this one in silver. I like mixing metals, but you can buy any jump ring that you would like. This one is a non-tarnishing silver, and I'm going to be putting the flower accent charm here so it looks like a cuff, a cuff link on a cuff. There it is. These are perforated, so make sure you work fast so all the glue doesn't just seep to the inside. So you're placing it right where you marked it with your pencil. This one's going to be a little tricky because it's hollow and I'm not filling it with glue. So you're going to have to place glue on the outside perimeters. So guys, these charms were $2 each. So for about 10 bucks, including the cost of the cuff, you could have your own custom design. Okay, so I'm going to be using some spare chain that I took from a purse and I'm going to be draping it around the charms. You'll have to keep babysitting the charms since they're heavy and they will slide. So you want to make sure to press them together, make sure that they're not moving, and continue on. So here we basically just created a square on the top. And to even it out, I'm going to place a flower right on this side. Okay, now a tip for you guys is these are not real pearls. So what you're going to wanna to do is coat them with the clear coat of nail polish so that they don't scratch easily. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm taking apart this strand of real freshwater pearls. This is optional. You could use fake pearls if you'd like but I have a strand that I don't use and I'm going to be adding just some natural pearls to this cuff. For the next one, we're going to use the mirror and the bow to make a mirror cuff. Paint it clear since it's not a real pearl.
So for this one, the charm is flat from the back. So all you do is glue the center of the cuff and place the mirror right on top. Just make sure everything is centered. Bring it close to you so you can see that everything is even, including the center of the bow. And that is pretty much it. I'm putting one more clear coat on the middle pearl. Okay guys, so I've let these dry overnight and I wanted to show you how beautiful they turned out. I'm gonna start with this very elaborate one. You could see how truly Chanel inspired this one is. It has the Fleur de Lis, which looks so beautiful, paired with the uh, Chanel number no. five perfume and then the red lipstick with the attached quilted bag. It also has the signature Chanel flower, I believe it's called a Camila, and then a rhinestone and another pearl accent. I did, of course, drape it with chain and then put chain in between any gaps. I also have a hanging charm here. And the reason I use this lipstick is because Chanel has their own signature red. So I thought it'd be perfect to incorporate that charm there. This one here, you can wear it alone or you can pair them. This one is very simple, but it's also very beautiful and it'll come in handy when you need a mirror to doctor up your makeup. Just put the bow there and then I also added the dangling pendant here and you can see how beautiful they are. You could wear it with a dress, a t-shirt, a sweater. You could wear it with a button-down shirt, even a tuxedo shirt, which is how I'm going to be wearing these. So if you like this project, please make sure that you give it a thumbs up or pop a comment below. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. You are all the lifeline of this channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!